This is one of the world's most recognized and effective fly patterns. And today, I'm going to show you how to tie the original that was made nearly 75 years ago. To tie it, we'll start off with some black thread, snip your excess free, and continue wrapping backwards until we reach the bend of our hook. At which point, we'll grab some marabou, here I'm using black, pluck a single strand free, and measure it to be about one and a quarter hook shanks in length. Transfer your measurement and secure it tightly and secure it tightly to the back of your fly. At which point, we'll fold the marabou backwards, continue wrapping our thread forward, leaving a bit of room at the head of the fly before folding our marabou back over and securing it tightly in place. We'll snip our excess free and cover up our tag ends. And if you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. We'll continue covering up our tag ends, wrapping back towards our tail. Don't worry too much about leaving any showing, as it'll be covered in our next step. With this complete, we'll help prop up our tail by taking a single thread wrap around it, followed by a few additionals on top to help prop it in place. Once happy, we'll bring our thread forward slightly and grab some chenille. Here I'm using medium in the color black. We'll strip a bit free, exposing the core, and use this to secure it tightly to our hook shank. Once again, wrapping back towards our tail. We'll then set this aside and grab some grizzly saddle hackle. Grab a single feather, wrapping it around the hook to help gauge how long the fibers will be. Pluck it free. Separate the fibers to the size that you're looking for. I like to use one that's slightly oversized so it pushes a little more water and adds a bit more movement. We'll trim up the tip into a triangle and use this to secure it tightly to the back of our fly, leaving enough space for a single thread wrap of our chenille before we start our hackle. With this complete, we'll bring our thread forward, grabbing our chenille and placing a single wrap behind our hackle before continuing forward and close touching spirals until we reach our thread. Here, we'll secure the chenille tightly in place and snip our excess free. Cover up your tag ends to help secure it in place. Before grabbing your hackle, pulling the fibers backwards and wrapping it forward, this time in open spirals. And we'll continue to do so until we reach the head of our fly. Here, we'll add a couple additional wraps to make it a bit thicker at the head of our fly. Secure it tightly in place with your thread and snip your excess free. With this complete, we'll pull everything backwards and carefully start to build up the head of our fly, covering up our tag ends and hackle in the process to help give it a brushed back look. With this complete, we'll whip finish to hold everything in place, snipping the excess free. And if you want to give it a better look and add a bit more durability to the pattern, you can paint it over with some thin UV resin fix in place with a UV light. And this is the original Wally Bugger. And while modern variations have improved the durability slightly, it's still one of the most fished and recognized fly patterns out there. And if somehow you haven't tried it, I'd highly suggest doing so. And if you'd like to see a more modern one, you can find it on my channel, but I will be posting a comparison of this and a modern version in a future video. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.